Hi everyone, welcome to this training module on first trimester fetal ultrasound. It's important for you to understand that this is done ideally using a transvaginal ultrasound probe. This is a standard 2D scan. You just need to zoom in through the vaginal scan enough such that the gestational sac and the yolk sac as you can see are absolutely clearly visible to you as a part of doing this ultrasound. In this ultrasound, it is important to understand that you identify the margins of the yolk sac. Simultaneously, you look at the size of the yolk sac. Along with this, you can see here, this is around 5 weeks, 5 day ultrasound where a tiny fetal pole is beginning to appear and if you look closely, you will simultaneously see a cardiac flicker. Obviously, the fetal pole would appear larger and the cardiac flicker would start to appear within the next 2 to 3 days much more prominently. This is the decidual reaction which we are measuring. Now ideally, decidual reaction anything more than 2 millimeters is considered to be good. Here it is 3.3 millimeters. But you should have a vague idea of a good decidual reaction based on your experience of doing a lot of fetal ultrasounds. It's also important to note that along with that you should look at the gestational sac size and the size of the yolk sac. Yolk sac diameter is measured from inner to inner. Here you can see it is 3.6 millimeters. The ideal yolk sac size is between 2 to 6 millimeters at this gestational age. Simultaneously in a separate plane look at the gestational sac and gestational sac is measured and you can see it is accumulating to approximately 5 weeks, 5 days approximately so that means the dating is correct. Also, you need to always look at the adnixa when you do this ultrasound. Looking at the adnixa is extremely important to rule out any cyst formation or any ectopic pregnancy. So you can see that the left and the right adnixa as we see both appear to be absolutely normal. At the end of this, it is mandatory to issue a print of this report. As students, you should remember that if you are practicing in India, PCP NDT regulations and formalities are very very important so sign form F at the time of doing this procedure prior to this procedure and explain it to the patient. Further questions we shall answer on WhatsApp. Thank you so much.